Here we're asked to, to complete a table of values for the following function, y is equal to x squared subtract 4. That means you put an x in, you square it, and then you take away 4 from the answer, that's your y. So, when you put in negative 3, negative 3 squared would be positive 9, take away 4 would give you 5. Negative 2 squared would give you 4, take away 4 would give you 0. Negative 1 squared would give you 1, take away 4, you get 3. 0 squared, you get 0, take away 4, you get negative 4. And 1 squared, you get 1, take away uh, 4, you get negative 3. 2 squared, you get 4, take away 4, you get 0. And 3 squared, you get 9, take away 4, you get 5. Now notice, um, that's the easy two marks there, there's nothing in that at all. Um, very, very straightforward to get that, that, and that. Just notice that actually they are symmetrical. A quadratic will always be symmetrical around one of the numbers, not necessarily zero, but in this case that works out. You see at either side here, negative three, negative three, zero, zero, five, five. Okay, so that could give you a hint you've done it correctly. Now, the way these questions work, the next part, it says, hence draw the graph of y is x squared subtract four for, for x between negative three and three. So all you're doing is you're plotting each of these x's against these y's. So negative 3 goes with 5, negative 3 goes with 5 up here. So we have ourselves something like this. Uh, negative 2 goes with 0, so x is negative 2, y is 0, there we go. A negative 1, negative 3, so negative 1, negative 3. 0, negative 4, so when x is 0, y is negative 4. And then we've got 1, negative 3, 2, 0, and 3, 5. 1, negative 3 here, 2 goes with 0, and 3 goes back up with 5. Okay, so you would get a mark for plotting those coordinates accurately. And also, now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to draw a curve, and it should be a curve. Do not join them up with straight lines, it should be a curve going through each of those points, and that would give, give you your other marks there. Okay, next, uh, part C, it says, draw the graph of the line y is equal to 2 on the grid opposite for values of x from negative 3 to 3. So we're going to draw the line y is equal to 2. So the line y is 2, we should know this, is where the y value is always equal to 2, it's there. Now it says draw it from... Uh, x is negative 3 to 3, so just make sure you've restricted it and drawn it the way they want it. And there we go, there's our one easy mark. And it says write down the x coordinates of the points of the intersections of the two graphs. Well, where do they intersect? They intersect here and here, and we want those x values. So this to me looks like negative 2.5, and this looks like 2.5 to me. So I would put 2.5 and negative 2.5. You would always get some leeway in that particular question, but that would definitely get you the mark there, and we're done.